guys, Double Wide Six, and today we're working on an electric pressure washer. And this one has a pretty common problem with these electric pressure washers. It's leaking oil. If we keep running it, it's going to end up dying. So we're going to take a look at it, see if we can stop the leak and get this thing fixed. The unit we're working on is a Clean Force 1800 psi power washer. It's 1.5 gallons per minute. 1800 PSI. The first step is to take off these plastic covers. I've never taken one of these apart so hopefully it's not too hard. I pulled it apart and um, most likely this pump's not serviceable. You can take the whole thing apart, add oil, and then put it all back together. There's oil kind of all over this thing, so I'm pretty sure it's coming out where uh, the pump case goes together. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, remove one of these Allen sockets, which I'm going to use my impact. Maybe not. Hang on. So inside here, underneath that plug, there appears to be, um, oil in there. Looks like there's a little water mixed in with it. I'm going to try and pull this little valve out. There we go. Oops. And let me check if there's oil in there for sure. I want to make sure that I'm definitely on the oil side of the pump so I'm gonna try and see if I can pour a little oil out of here just to make sure it's not water here and it seems like nothing's coming out so either there's no oil left in it or possible that that's a little bit of water that came out. I did a little more investigating and I'm pretty sure that this is the water side of the pump and those passages are not leading to oil. So I think I'm going to have to actually do this right and take apart this half of the pump. So uh, I'm going to start splitting the case. We're going to use the impact to try this one. Not enough pump. I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is just loosen these a hair, drain the oil out, try and add the right amount of oil, and then close it right up. 
I can't pull this through because I don't want to remove the brass fitting. Be able to do it this way. Yeah, now we have the case split. Try and sneak it apart a little bit this way. Hopefully, nothing falls out of it. There's almost no oil in there. Here's a look at the pump split apart. There's actually an O-ring in here. It's fairly thin. I don't have a replacement that I have like on hand that would uh, replace that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use this ATP AT205 reseal. Um, this is real good stuff. You mix it with oil and it's a plasticizer and it'll cause this rubber um, to swell up a little bit. And um, what I've done is I'm going to use this 100% uh, full synthetic 5W50 and I've used this on a tractor transmission and it's probably a little thicker than what's recommended but I'm also trying to stop the leak as well so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I put a little bit of the uh, reseal in this bottle and this bottle I actually put about what I guesstimated to be about half of the pump I'm gonna fill this up about halfway with the oil and I mixed in a little bit of the uh, reseal in with that oil and I emptied this out I'm just using this oil bottle so I can transfer it into the case but before I do that I'm gonna take a little bit of the reseal and I'm going to apply that directly to the uh, o-ring and as I add that it just follows that o-ring all the way around and then we'll stand it up and we'll add our oil. So I've set the pump upright and I've added this just a piece of fuel line here. And what my plan is, is to fill up this case about halfway with this oil and the uh, AT205 reseal. Luckily I can see in here and the oil looks like it's at the right level so we're going to stop it right there. Now all I have to do is secure these hex bolts. I didn't pull these all the way apart because one it would be hard to get in here and two this thing's actually like spring loaded and I've worked with pressure washers before so I'm kind of familiar with how they go together. I was thinking I could put a little bit of uh, gasket maker in there, but uh, sometimes that stuff kind of oozes out and can leave a void. And this is made to seal with that O-ring. And um, I'm pretty confident in that AT205 reseal. I've had a lot of good success with it. So, I don't think I need the uh, gasket maker. Well, we're just about ready to put the case back together. And I sprayed a little degreaser in here. And now I'm just using a rag and uh, trying to get any excess oil that's out of here.
Well, here we go, maiden voyage. I gotta tell you guys, I like these little electric units. They're very portable, and there's no maintenance like you'd have with a gas machine, except for uh, winterizing them, which is pretty easy to do. In fact, I have a video on my channel showing that process. I'll put some links in the description to the products I used to fix this pressure washer, and it really wasn't a hard job. I think the hardest part was just taking apart the plastic case so as always thanks for watching and if you like the video give it a thumbs up take care guys